Blueface is upset that he's on house arrest and Krishan is out doing performances and bookings while he's at home doing interviews with his baby mama. Now, there was a lot of disrespect thrown at Krishan during these interviews. Now, today, Krishan posted a text message thread between herself and Blueface on Instagram. Now, all of these messages are actually from Blueface. As you can see here, he stated, I'm tired of showing what I can get done. What you gonna do for me? If you don't know what to choose, I'm gonna always tell you choose the money. I love you. Have a good night. And I'm begging. I'm literally telling you to come and you telling me about something else. I'm not gonna wait and I'm not gonna press you to come. It's up to rock. Just always remember this moment when you're at your lowest and most vulnerable and I'm not there for you or I don't cancel my plans for you. Just always remember this day. I'm not saying that to manipulate you. I'm saying it so you not crying victim when you're vulnerable and low and I don't show up for you. Then he states, I'm gonna always bring this up when your time comes. He says, I just want you to take all of your things and leave. I'll be home on the third. I would like for you to figure it out by then. You have enough money and enough people to help you. So he actually begged her to come to stay in Vegas with him and Krishan chose to go back to LA to perform at shows, take bookings, and to go to the BET Awards. Now then Blueface went on to his Instagram and he stated, I put rock out for Jaden get over it and he says I'm only on house arrest because I took all the charges for rock why you think there's no warrant for her arrest why would I let her stay in my house when I'm stuck in another state and I got my BM ready to drive to me with the kids rock is out Jaden is in it's that simple then he goes on to post I said no I'll take the deal and pled guilty because her name is all in the work so then he posted pictures of the paperwork where it does have Krishan in there assaulting another young lady. Blueface is stating he took all of the charges so Krishan wouldn't have to deal with any of this. So this whole situation is crazy because Blueface is stating this is all Krishan's fault that he's on house arrest and instead of her staying with him she chose to go out and take these bookings so he called his baby mama out to stay with him now she's back in the number one spot and he's moving her in and kicking Krishan out now today is June 29th he gave her until the third to remove all of her belongings from his house home now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below now I do want to speak on this next situation with Krishan Rock's sister because she went live onto Instagram and she was actually in tears speaking about the situation with Krishan and how she spoke to Krishan about not taking any crap from Blueface and that's when Krishan actually swung on her and that's how the whole incident started with people stating that she was fighting Krishan while she was pregnant. This is to the public and to my sister. But like, when she said that I'd be talking to her like she a child, she not a dog. I understand her, but this is me, the person that she's saying she feel saying that. Like, I apologize for if you feel like I'm talking to you like you're a child, but I wouldn't, I'm not talking to you like you're a child. I'm just talking to you like an overprotective big sister and maybe I need to work on that and go to counseling or something for being overprotective. But I don't look at it like that. I look at you like a boss. You feel me? So I don't know. I just wish people and and I feel like that people has a way of making my sister feel like that. It's like it like makes me really upset because I don't know, me and her never beef. And I love all my siblings, but I remember like getting picked on as a kid. Not from all my siblings, but like certain siblings. Like, oh, you you not a full sibling, you the white one, you the white girl. So when Krishan was born,
Alright, I'm gonna pick it up. But when Sean was born, it was like a relief for me because when we started, like it was twelve of us, so every I. Hey, but it's be like, you not a full sibling. You have Brie, you have Brie, you have Brie. If you don't know what that means, you ain't gonna understand. But like, I used to get called that. So when Kashan was born, that was my. Oh, but Kashan was born. And I was, I'm number eight. Number eight out of 12. So when she was born, it was like, that was my fight back. How they have someone that looks exactly like me if I'm not y'all for seven. So all this shit that's going on on social media, like, it really, like, I'm so strong because, like, yes, I'm a mother, but I'm also, like, before I was a mother, I was also, like, like, the biggest sister and I'm number eight out of 12. And there's big sisters that can vouch for it if they want to be real and genuine. I've always played like a super big sister role. And it's, my thing is, when she was born, it was like the equalized situation of all 12 of us. So it's like, all right, y'all can't keep calling me a half sister. Because if I'm half sister, then how dad and mommy do it twice? How we look just alike? So all this stuff that's going on Instagram, I. I really don't like it because that was my like fight back when she was born because we're like six years apart in age so just imagine what I was going through before somebody that looks just like me come in the family at 12. So I really hate how like this narrative is of us fighting because we always was going to have to stick together because we look just alike. And it's just like blowing me so ugly. I just hate the whole